radius of circle V is double the radius of circle D. The radius of circle D is 8 meters. Which measurement is closest to the area of circle V in square meters? Let's go. All right, we've got two circles. Let's start by trying drawing them out and visualizing the information that they've told us. We've got circle D, which is smaller. So I'll draw that here. This is circle D and this is smaller. Usually when we name a circle, we name it based on its center point. So the center point of this circle is gonna be D. And then we've got circle V, which was twice as big. It's got double the radius. So I'm gonna draw that with a radius that's twice as big. And again here, we're gonna draw that circle with a point in the middle and label that V, because that's how we generally name circles. We've got circle D and circle V, and circle V has twice the radius. Now they tell us that the radius of circle D is eight meters. So the radius, remember, is from the center to any point on the outside of that circle. That apparently has a length of eight. Let's look at the language carefully. It says the radius of circle V is double the radius of circle D. Well, if this had a radius of 8, then double that should be 16. So if I have the radius of this circle, that should be 16. Okay, well now we want to find out what's the area of circle V in square meters. Here's one of those buzzwords. And when you hear a geometry buzzword like area, perimeter, circumference, you need to write down the formula, and it's super important that you learn to remember these formulas. So when you write them down, one of the great things is it forces you to remember it a little bit better. The formula for the area of the circle, in case you forgot it, is area equals pi times the radius squared, r squared. r squared means the radius here. In our smaller circle, d, the radius is 8, but we're looking for the area in our larger circle, v. The radius here is 16, so let's be careful and plug that in. We've got pi times 16 squared should be the area of this larger circle. What we have to do is square 16. You can use your calculator if you need to, but that's 256 and then that pi hangs around. Now, depending on the problem, sometimes you multiply by the pi, which is approximately 3.14. But in this problem, we left pi in the answer, which is kind of customary with circles. So that's kind of a typical move. We could see here that our area is therefore 256 pi. And if you got that answer, that's great thinking.